Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone Basics on MCPE Redstone. Okay guys, welcome back to the actual episode. Today we are going to be showing you all these logic gates. If you don't know what logic gates are, they are basically like little compartments that you kind of can use in your redstone creations. Uh, it's really, really uh, similar to things in uh, ele actual real life electricity, uh, some of these things, so they can be really, really interesting. Let's start off here by our normal redstone input. If you press the button, it's going to turn on the glowstone. I always call it a glowstone, but it's actually a redstone lamp. It's going to turn on the redstone lamp when you turn it on. The next one is a OR gate. What this means is that you can press either of the buttons. This is really simple, of course. Uh, it's really simple. If you press one or two, at least one of the buttons, it's going to light the lamp. Here is a AND gate. So as you can see, if you press one of the buttons or the other, it's not going to do anything. But if you press both the buttons, or the levers rather, it's going to turn on. If you turn on one off, it's going to turn off again, and so on. You need both the buttons to be activated in order to turn on the lamp. This is an inverter. What this means is, uh, right now, this is off, and when we press this, it's going to uh, turn... Like, this is now on, but the lamp is off. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the way that works. Uh, you can turn it off again, and then it goes on, turn it on, and then it goes off. Then here is something that I uh, didn't uh, set up yet, because it's uh, really, really laggy sometimes. If you make something like this, and then place two redstones, it's going to like flicker really, really quickly. It's, it's like almost, I think it's the fastest redstone clock as well in Minecraft Pocket Edition at the moment, but as you can see, it can get quite laggy. So I wouldn't recommend using this too much. Let me click quickly, by the way, show you how you build all, all of these. The first one's just a lever, nice and simple. The next one's just conjoining uh, redstone dusts. The third one is uh, both redstone going into uh, blocks like this on either side. Then in the middle, a piece of uh, redstone dust. And on the other side, uh, below the redstone dust, there's going to be a redstone torch that goes to your lamp. So as you can see, if you turn one off, it's going to uh, turn it off because you need both. This is a really, really interesting thing. It is uh, the ability to press a button and then it's going to uh, activate that lamp. But if you press the same button, it's not going to do anything. So you need to go to another button, which will this be this one, and you can press it and it will go ahead and uh, activate this lamp. Once again, you can press this one once you press this one again, it's going to turn off again. And really, really interesting. It can be used in some really nice builds, so I think it should be pretty straightforward how to build this. Let's move on to the next thing. Remember how we had this OR gate, which you can press one button or two and it's going to stay on? Well, this one is a bit more advanced. If you press one button, it's going to turn on, but if you press two buttons, it's not going to be on. It's going to be turned off. Really, really interesting. Uh, so it only allows for one lever to be on, one input to be there. I'll quickly show you how to build it. Uh, just place your little redstone torches and levers the way it's shown here. And you can pause. Should be pretty simple. And yeah, that is the XOR uh, gate. Now this one is pretty much the same. However, it's uh, inverted, which means that if one of the uh, inputs if different is different than the other it's going to be turned off and if both inputs are the same it's going to be turned on so for example it's both turned off then it's turned on it's both turned on it's uh, turned on if you turn one on and one off it's going to be turned off and same the other way around it's going to be turned off the way you do this is the exact same thing with with this one but you press a uh, inverter gate which we showed you there uh, once again you can quickly uh, imitate it if you feel like it. Pretty, pretty simple indeed. And then we are coming up to the last one we have here, which is really, really interesting. Um, if you press this button, it's going to turn off 
one of these. Which is really, really interesting because if you go to the other lever, it's not going to do anything. This is like a variant on the one we showed you all the way over there with the buttons. So, uh, if you press this one, it's not going to do anything. You will need to go to the other side, turn this off, and then you can turn this on again. Now, this may be a bit uh, confusing what you could use this for. Let me just quickly uh, demonstrate something. Now, it can be a bit more clear, hopefully. Uh, if you press one of these buttons, this one's going to be turned on now. Uh, but if I press this one, it's not going to do anything unless I turn this one off first and then this one can go on. This is the exact same as before, but now I just put inverters and it can be a bit more clear that you can turn on one lamp, but only one at a time, which is really, really cool uh, in some builds that you can only have one thing at a time. Like, for example, you can only close a door uh, or have a light or something, like in a, in a horror map, maybe. I don't know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Um, this was the third episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition Basics. If you want uh, some more basics, then the link of the playlist is in the top right corner of this video and also but in the bottom of the uh, description somewhere. Hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all in the next Redstone video. Goodbye.